Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying two uh, Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats. I have the original. And I have, uh, these are actually little bites of chocolate, but this means they're smaller. But these are the chocolate ones. They had the original in the little bites as well, but I thought we've never reviewed the original, so I better buy the original. Uh, these were $3.89 each at Meyer, And I bought like, three other boxes, three different flavors as well. Um, but I thought uh, we should uh, try these first. See, when I was a kid, these are little compared to, I mean, they are mini leaves. We had the full size. Oh, yeah, these are small. Because, yeah, our frosted mini leaves. Well, the frosted, like, they were just frosted wheat. They were yeah. like this long. Yeah, they were long. And you had to like let them soak them, and you break, break them, them apart. Up. Yeah. So they basically knew everybody did that. So they made frosted mini weeks when we were kids. Right. Um, These are not going to be good by themselves. I don't know. I used to eat them by, my, by themselves as a kid. I haven't had these in years. I feel like I'll be punished. Let me give you some milk. Honestly. Only children should eat those if they're being punished in the corner. Then they can go like this. <laughs> they're okay. Um, they're, they do have a sweet flavor, but they're just dry. They're made with 100% whole grain. They're an excellent source of fiber. There's 11 grams of protein with three fourths cup of skim milk, it says. Um, to make these good, you have to let them sit for like at least a minute. We use only North American wheat. That mean they don't order it from China or whatever? I guess. Um, and then they have... Um, Russia. I don't know where uh, you get wheat at. A little game on the, uh, the back. It says 25 biscuits or 60 grams is 210 calories. And that, of course, is um, without the milk. Yeah, made with North American grains. And some people just eat shredded wheat, mm. which is no frosting on they're good. That's so good in milk. They're kind of plain, but they're good. I wouldn't eat them without milk, just because I wouldn't. Um, like I said, torture. When I was a kid, Punishment. I probably ate them without milk when we were out of milk. You know, <laughs> if, I was, have some if I was home and I wanted something, mm hmm If you let the... But I really like those in milk a lot. If you don't want milk, I mean, if you didn't eat it with milk, you let the, the frosted part down and like love dissolve in your tongue it's not bad but. and it's very sweet yeah, it's it sweet. has that sweet layer now when i was a kid i've said this before during cereal reviews i would put a layer there would be a crust of sugar, sugar on top of my cereal even these oh yes i never i just never put cereal on oh, my sugar on my cereal sugar went on top of all the my only cereal. thing i put sugar on was first of all i didn't have frosted wheat uh frosted flakes back then when i was a kid so they had, I don't remember having frosted flakes. I think Our mom did. and dad didn't buy them. Your mom just bought cornflakes. Yeah, but see, cornflakes. I frosted mean, flakes I, have been around forever. I put tons of sugar on cornflakes. That's what I was going to say. I've never I had these. I've never had chocolate ones either. Yeah, I've Not never, had, I've never had chocolate. So it says made with real chocolate. Mm, they smell good. Uh, uh, these are, these are little. I like the size of these. Uh, one cup, 56 grams, is 200 calories. Ooh, no. wow. Oh, that's so sweet. That's very cocoa-y. Welcome to Minnie's Little Zoo. Help me deliver delicious frosted mini wheats around my zoo. Pretty little game. Good game. Those actually taste better out of milk than the other ones did. I like the texture of them. They're not as dry. Mmm. I like that. You know what that reminds me of? A chocolate pop tart. That sounds weird, but just the flavor kind of reminds me of a. No, I agree. The co that cocoa I kind really of flavor. Agree. The texture is different, of course, but the, the flavor. The chocolate flavor. in pop tarts, um, a lot of them is a darker chocolate. Like cocoa powder. I like yes, and that's what that tastes yeah. like. No, you're absolutely right. Because yeah, I mean. knew it reminded me of something. I couldn't think of what it reminded me of. That's <laughs> it. It's it's pop tart chocolate. These things, if I am. Um, well, didn't Kellogg's make pop tarts? Yeah. Probably the same powder. Probably yeah. By the same big powdered chocolate. Yeah, I think um, it really, I think it is. These were always, I would eat so many of them that unless you let them sit for a while, they would hurt the roof of your mouth after a if you ate five all of them. I love the texture. Mm 
it's so it's different much softer well almost crumbly yeah it's almost yeah like like that was the texture of shredded wheat this is the texture of um almost like a cookie yeah like <laughs> a cookie like a crispy cookie that's what it's like because there's, there's like a crust on it the chocolate ones all like i would get those again mm -hmm. the regular ones are good they're just they're just kind of plain but the chocolate ones are really good i was i'm impressed because i didn't think i'd like them that much. i could eat that whole bowl right now that's it's delicious very good. yes very very good very sweet mm -hmm. and it's a strong chocolate flavor it I mean, is it really is and we say cocoa but we don't mean like a really bitter cocoa it does taste like kind of tastes like well like a chocolate pop tart or um if you make cocoa like a hot chocolate out of cocoa powder instead of like hershey's mm -hmm. um kind of has that kind of flavor it's a it's a it's a little bit darker but it's not bitter if you've ever had the um i think they're called like cookies and cream pop tarts they're the they're no. they have, they're a dark dark pop tart anyway that's the chocolate yep. it really does taste dead on them i like them I like both of these, but honestly, uh, the chocolate are, I think, heads and tails above the Oh, yeah, very, very, very good. Yeah, for texture and everything, they're they're just better. Yeah. So, if you've so, never tried them, you just try them. Yeah, you, these have probably been out forever, and oh, yeah, we've I'm just sure. never had them. And if you can find the size, those little bites, they're perfect size. Yeah, uh, but those don't say little bites. No, uh, they're a little bit bigger. Yeah, but not, I mean, not that much. They're about half that size. You think? Yeah, I guess they are. Okay. Uh, they're about so actually I, probably four, three of those goes into one of those. Oh, okay. Weight wise, if you had to probably weigh them. And I guess they don't make the long ones anymore at all. The big ones, the unless you're getting shred, just regular shredded wheat. I didn't see those, so I don't know if they make no, them at all. You can buy those in a box, and they're, you have to break them up in the middle. Oh, okay. Well, chocolate, if you've never had them, you have Excellent. to try them. Yes. Uh, so I'll have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.